guys, it's Dano and today I am doing my July book haul. Uh, I got one or two books this month. <sighs> Not too many, it's okay. But let's check them out. So the first two books I got this month are the Fairy Loot and Owl Crate books. And if you want to check out what they are and also the other goodies that come with them, I'll link those videos that I've done down below so you can check them out. But if you haven't opened your book, I don't want to spoil you. If you haven't opened your book, if you haven't opened your box, I don't want to spoil you, so go check them out. So the first book I received this month is Truly devious by Maureen Johnson. This is a new release for the month and it's from what I can tell a book about a private school where the main character Stevie Stevie Bell uh, is starting and she's kind of a crime investigator um, aficionado person and when the school was first established the wife and the daughter of the um, person who established the school were kidnapped and they he was given a riddle that no one could ever work out um, in order to solve the case but it seems like Stevie might have some insights onto you know some new clues and things like that it kind of it's kind of giving me Sherlock Holmes vibes which I'm all for um, and it's been like John Green and E. Lockhart have both written comments on the back for it so I'm sure that I'm going to love it and I can't sit, wait to sit down with it. The next two books I got because I had to return a book to Dimmix because for some reason I accidentally bought it twice. <sighs> I don't know how I did that. What was it? It was... A Court of Wings and Ruin. I accidentally bought twice. I didn't realise I already had it and then I went through and bought a whole lot of um, Sarah J Master's books in hardcover because I really wanted the hardcover versions. And um, so yeah, I took that back because I still had the receipt. And then I got... That was a really bad way to have. So I got Air of Fire by Sarah J Mass because I missed this book when I went and got all those books for some odd reason. And then I also picked up, because it didn't quite balance what I had spent, I picked up uh, More Than We Can Tell by Brigitte Cremer. And this is the companion book to Letters to the Lost, which I read recently and absolutely loved. So as soon as I saw this, I had to pick it up. Actually... I'm going to, let's see if this will work, <laughs> where do all the other books go, oh, but I'm not going to put the two that are spoilers on there. Now on to the ones that I still have packaged up, so these are both the box and the envelope are from Book Depository because that's where I get most of my books from yeah. okay is it yes it is okay so a while ago I bought um, the there's somewhere the Ellie Carter um, Gallagher Girls series from Book Depository and when I was opening them all because they came in separate they gave it, I think, three different lots or anything. And I opened them and I'm like, where's the first one? I know I bought the first one. So I contacted them telling them that it never arrived. So they've sent me a replacement for I Tell You, but I Tell You I Love You, But Then I'd Have to Kill You, which is the first book in the Gallagher Girls series. So now I have all six of them, <laughs> just like I purchased. But Book Depository is really good if um, stuff like that goes wrong. I've had books in the past that came and they were um, damaged and I contacted them and they sent me a replacement so they're really good with all that sort of stuff. So yes, got that. Oh, you're not going to stay? Maybe if I lean you there. Okay. Now onto the big box. I'm just going to 
take a second to open this. Okay, so the first book in this big box is Scythe by Neil Schusterman. I have read this recently, so I wanted to pick up my own copy of it because I was reading a library copy. Um, yes, I do have a review of this book and I will link it down below. And yes. <laughs> the next book is The uh, Undead Girl Gang by Lily Anderson. Uh, I don't remember. I know this is a witch's book. I believe this is about a girl who's investigating some sort of um, what's deemed as a suicide pact, but she doesn't actually believe that's the case. I'm not too sure. I do know this was the Biblio, um, the Biennial Bibliothons um, book club for uh, April, no. May, June, July, I believe. So I wanted to give this book a read and then have a look at their comments. Was it theirs? Or was it someone else's? No, I think it was theirs. Um, yes, so. And then the next book in the box I have also read recently, and that is The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw. Uh, this is a book where three sisters were uh, drowned centuries ago um, because the town thought that they were witches and now every year around summertime the three sisters return and take over a body of one of the girls in town and they go around killing boys and yeah, it, I really enjoyed this book. I will be doing a review of it shortly and I read this because it was the biannual bibliothons group read for the summer readathon yes i always get confused because opposite seasons so yes i've read this and it's awesome and it's really pretty like i love the silver foil like it's just so pretty and then next up i have thunderhead by neil schusterman because this is the next book in these i think it's called arc of the size i think that's what the series is called the trilogy is called um so yes because i read Scythe, I wanted to also pick up Thunderhead and give that a go and uh, I've heard a lot of people prefer this book over to Scythe which I'm kind of hoping it is. I wasn't the biggest fan of Scythe, like I did enjoy it but I just didn't think it lived up to all the hype that it was getting so I'm hoping that I'll enjoy this one a lot more. And then the next book is a big book. And that is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by J.K. Rowling and illustrated by Olivia Lumen Shetch Guild. I, I'm sorry. Um, but yes, I've been eyeing this book off for quite a long time and decided that I'd finally get it and have a look at it because there are extra animals in this that weren't in the original library editions and of course this is just illustrated and is amazing so I had to pick it up. And then because I got that I also got History of Magic. Uh, yes this is just because I had to um, and also I had to and I'm a Harry Potter fan so I had to. <laughs> uh, I really love these illustrated editions, they're so pretty and yes, I had to get my hands on them. And then the final two book-ish related things, they're also Harry Potter related, I got the stationery sets for both Slyther Slytherin and Hogwarts. Uh, so in them they, I uh, will open up the Slytherin one because that one's already open, they have a book a notebook and under that is some letter paper and some envelopes. They have wax and a seal as well as a paperweight um, all with the crests on it. So the Slytherin one obviously has the Slytherin crest and the Hogwarts one has the Ho Hogwarts crest. Uh, yes. So guys that is all that I got in my July book haul. Um, it wasn't very much but I'm kind of liking it that way because you know I need to read a lot of these books so I need to stop buying so many books and get on with my reading and yes so I don't think my April book haul will that April I don't think my August book haul is going to be that big uh, because I'm trying to cut down on how many books I do buy so yeah 
Okay, that is all I've got for you today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below to see more videos posted by me. And I will see you guys next time. Happy reading! Bye.